have a reaction coming in. This is the Ghazipur SP who is talking about the security deployment which has been done across the area. Heavy police deployment has been done. Security has been heightened outside Ansari's house. It's uh, already um, up from last night. Let's take a look at this reaction. सुरक्षा की दृष्टि से पूरा का पूरा जो गाजीपुर का प्रशासनिक अपना है इसमें लगा हुआ है कि जो भी चीजें यहाँ पे होने जा रहा है सुपर देख खाक इनका वो शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से हो जाए और जिन्हें भी अपना संवेदनाएं व्यक्त करनी है परिवार के लोगों के साथ मिलके उनके आवास पे जाके कर सकते हैं अनावश्यक रूप से सड़कों पे ना घूमें अनावश्यक रूप से कस्बा क्योंकि घना आबादी वाला कस्बा है और लोगों से रात भी अपील की गई थी जब डेड बॉडी आई थी उस समय भी कोई बहुत ज्यादा इस तरह का वो नहीं था जो उनके आवास पे थे वही लोग उपस्थित थे बाकी पर्याप्त सुरक्षा प्रबंध किए गए हैं और उम्मीद है कि सब कुछ बिल्कुल एज पर प्रोटोकॉल होगा All right, Adib is live with us on the broadcast. Uh, Adib, heavy security deployment made outside uh, Mukhtar Ansari's uh, residence. Uh, his funeral is going to take place today. Take us through the preparations as far as the security personnel deployment for the last rite of Mukhtar Ansari is concerned. Adib, can you hear us? Okay, there seems to be some audio trouble with Adib, but as far as the security deployment is concerned, uh, the preparations are underway for his uh, funeral. It's going to take place around 10 a.m. Security personnel have been deployed uh, for the last rites of Mukhtar Ansari. There are 25 uh, deputy superintendents. 15 additional superintendents, 300 sub-inspectors, 150 inspectors, 10 IPS rank officers, 25 SDMs, ADG zone, IG, DIG, the DM of Ghazipur, the CDO of Ghazipur. In fact, uh, there is uh, the rapid action force also, uh, which has been deployed, including over and above all of this, you also have 5,000 home guards who have been deployed on the streets uh, and on the road. This is, of course, the heightened security uh, ahead of uh, Ansari's funeral. His body was brought to his uh, home late last night. The funeral is going to take place today. The burial is today. Uh, the Ghazipur SP, we just heard his reaction. He says the funeral is going to take place at 10 a.m. And uh, the police deployment has been heightened uh, around um, his residence and around that area. Okay, so that's the latest uh, coming in uh, Mukhtar Ansari's burial today and uh, there is a very heavy police deployment as far as, uh, you know, his uh, funeral is concerned. Uh, the security has been heightened. There are a large number of police personnel who have been deployed in the area. In fact, uh, as far as the family is concerned, uh, Mukhtar Ansari, uh, they have been saying, was slow poisoned. Adib is on the phone line with us. Uh, Adib, over to you. Take us through the details as far as the security deployment is concerned. Okay, and a large number of police force have been deployed in Mohammedpur area, which is the native place of Mukhtar and Sari. Uh, we have been seeing, uh, seeing police uh, taking out flag marches uh, since last night. And a large number of cops have been deployed uh, in Mohammedpur area, both at his residence and uh, outside the uh, graveyard. Also, the police uh, officials, senior police officials, have been urging to the people not to come uh, out in a large number of gatherings. If they uh, wish to uh, bid farewell to Mukhtar and Sari, they can go to his residence and uh, with favors uh, over there, but uh, do not, uh, they are, the police are asking them not to come out on the streets or to make chaos on the streets. The family of Mukhtar and Sari had also urged the people not to raise any slogans while the procession, the procession, the last rites of Mukhtar and Saris are being done. The, so the family has also been urging <laughs> and the massive arena security arrangements have been done in Mohammed area. Well, exactly. And Adib, as you were telling us, uh, we have uh, reactions uh, also coming in of the DM. 5,000 home guards, as I was telling uh, our viewers, and uh, a large number of uh, police personnel have been deployed uh, for the funeral. It's going to happen today at 10 a.m. Let's listen into what the DM had to say. The instruction is that this is a Niji Mamla. So, we have talked about the Parivar. सब कुछ नियंत्रित रखने के लिए बात कर ली है और जो हमारे ऑफिसर्स डिप्लॉयड हैं पॉइंट्स पे वो स्थिति को देख करके निर्णय लेंगे और नियंत्रित ढंग से पूरी व्यवस्था कराएंगे 
क्या कब्रिस्तान के अंदर सिर्फ परिवार या जो निजी रिश्तेदार हैं वही जाएंगे या फिर जो जनाजे में शामिल होने वाले जो लोग होंगे वो भी जाएंगे और जमाजे जो जो नमाज होती वो भी अदा करेंगे मिट्टी की रस्म में परिवार के अलावा जो लोकल लोग हैं और जाना चाहेंगे वो जाएंगे और सभी कुछ प्रशासन की निगरानी में होगा और नियंत्रण ढंग से होगा उसके बाद सुपुर्द खाक काली बाग वाले कब्रिस्तान में किया जाएगा आप लोग भी सहयोग कर लीजिए आराम कर लीजिए आप लोग के खातिर ही मैं अंदर नहीं गया पहले बाहर आ गया कुछ इसलिए कहने के नहीं महसूस करने के आपसे हमारा वही रिश्ता है जो महसूस किया जा सकता कहा नहीं जा सकता बहुत बड़ा गम लेकिन मैं मजबूती से हूँ और आप लोग से दुआ मकफिरत की गुजारिश करूँ ज्यादा से ज्यादा आप लोग उनके लिए दुआ करें अल्लाह उन्हें शहीद कबूल करें और जन्नतुल मुखीम बने All right, and remember, viewers, the family has been alleging that Mukhtar Ansari was slow poisoned inside the prison, and they have been claiming that former MLA had brought it to the notice of courts as well. In view of the family's allegation, the Chief Judicial Magistrate of Banda has ordered a judicial inquiry into the death of the gangster turned politician. Ansari was reported to have died after suffering in a cardiac arrest. This was in the prison in Banda jail on Thursday night. The court asked the MP MLA court judge Garima Singh to submit. the report within a month to the banda chief judicial magistrate meanwhile ansari's post mortem examination was conducted by a panel of doctors in banda and the preliminary autopsy report has confirmed the cause of death that is cardiac arrest the doctors preserved the viscera for forensic analysis to determine if poisoning was involved but mukhtar ansari's son umar ansari has written to the banda district magistrate demanding the post mortem of his father be done by doctors in aims in this letter ansari writes that the family doesn't trust the medical system of banda dekhiye wo unki prakriya hai humne to likh kar diya hai ki delhi aims ke doctors se karaya jaye hame yahan ke chikitsa pranali aur shasan prashasan par vishwas nahi hai wo social media par bhi hai aur media ko bhi humne mohiya kara diya aap log ko sab pata hai ki kyun main aisa keh raha hu and in fact it's not just uh, the family but also the opposition which is Uh, making very similar claims in fact a full blown political war over the death of jail gangster turned politician mukhtar ansari has now broken out opposition has been training their guns at the yogi government after mukhtar's family we just heard their reaction claim that the former mla was being slow poisoned in the prison from samajwadi party to bsp to rjd to aimim the opposition parties have come together in slamming the pgp government in uttar pradesh alleging that mukhtar ansari has been killed in custody to polarize elections to sanka na hone ka koi sawal hi nahi hai 100% di sarkar ke dwara is tarah ki ghatnaon ko kiya ja raha hai aur aaj bada durbhagya hai uttar pradesh ke andar sabse zyada custodial death agar kahin hai to hamare uttar pradesh mein hai log kahin surakshit nahi hai bhartiya janta party to hamesha yahi koshish karti hai कि चुनाव से पहले कोई ऐसा इशू उनको मिल जाए जिससे पोलराइजेशन किया जा सके जिससे ध्रुवीकरण किया जाए तो ये उनकी कोशिश रहेगी लेकिन इस बार जो देश का माहौल है वो हिंदू मुस्लिम मंदिर मस्जिद हिंदुस्तान पाकिस्तान इन चीज़ों से ऊपर उठ गया है और लोग इस बात को समझ गए हैं कि सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी या संघ परिवार भटकाने के लिए इन मुद्दों को सामने लाती है ये अजीब स्थिति है कि लोगों को अब डर लगने लगा है कि जेल में जाने के बाद बजाय बाहर रहें मुकदमा हो जो कुछ हो क्योंकि जेल में जाके तो किसी विरोधी को मारा जा सकता है अच्छा ये बताइए उनकी मृत्यु के बाद पूर्वी उत्तर प्रदेश में सम में दफा चवालिस लगा दी गई फ्लैग मार्च हो रहा है पुलिस का पीएसी का सीआरपी का अगर गवर्नमेंट के सामान्य मौत पे कभी जनता में आक्रोश होता है कभी नहीं होता है बीमार होकर भी मर जाए मौत संदेह के घेरे में है 
तो देखिए न्यायालय को इसमें स्वयं रुचि लेना चाहिए अगर जेल में किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसकी जिम्मेदारी प्रशासनिक अधिकारी जेल से लेकर के सरकार से लेकर सबकी जिम्मेदारी है